Now we're going to go over to uh, what is uh, uh, becoming more and more prevalent within the uh, uh, end user uh, environment, which is SharePoint. So uh, we are not uh, oblivious to the fact that SharePoint is out there. We wanted to be able to uh, put an uh, integration together so that uh, with SharePoint as a front end, you can still be able to get to content that is part of Application Extender. So why would you do this? Well, Application Extender has the ability to work with reports that have been generated by mainframe or, or line of business systems such as uh, IBM uh, uh, reports, uh, ASCII, EPSDIC reports, etc. We have the ability to do uh, retention management, so whether it's a software retention or uh, utilizing the uh, EMC Centera uh, worm device, being able to set up retention policies. Again, things that uh, may be part of SharePoint, but certainly not as extensive as, uh, as the application extender repository. The other and more prevalent fact may be that uh, over time, as more and more content goes into the SharePoint portal, the uh, SharePoint information uh, is going into the SQL database itself. So from an administrative standpoint, an IT perspective, uh, things uh, start backing up. As team sites are created, uh, deployed, uh, populated, and then decommissioned, that information is still in the SQL database, still being uh, necessary to maintain from a storage aspect as well as uh, from a, a backup and restore uh, functionality. What we've done is uh, taken that and uh, set up so that you can be able to do manual or automatic archiving of the content uh, based on uh, the uh, content type itself and move that into Application Extender, which is a dedicated document management system taking advantage of the Windows file system because all content is stored in a directory file structure, generally NTFS, outside of the database world. Only links, all database tables are, are essentially links to the content uh, with all the security, et cetera, that are, are part of the system. So with that said, let's take a look at the web parts. Web Parts gives us the ability to uh, essentially create a web access-like interface or a document manager-like interface. You have the search expression capabilities. You have the uh, list capabilities. So if I had a, a particular uh, drop-down list, if I wanted to just find loan checklists, be able to go ahead and search on that and retrieve the result set of information that applies to that loan checklist. So here's those two items. If I want then, I can go ahead and display that content in the WPF Viewer. Go ahead and hit Document. And it'll bring it up in that same Viewer presentation that we had previously. Again, fitting it to the window. Perhaps uh, if I don't want the thumbnails, go ahead and hide that doing the uh, OCR text to, if I've run an OCR process, and even check in and check out of the document itself. You can be able to do next page uh, navigation, as well as be able to print from that, or if I wanted to see just a thumbnail view, go ahead and do that with the slider bar as indicated. So you've got all that with web parts. Uh, this query uh, capability, if I had saved queries and such, I can go ahead and be able to work with those. I don't have any in this one. If I want to do multiple documents, go ahead and do that. In fact, I may open it up in a pop-up window. So with that said, go ahead and open it up in this particular presentation. This may be moved over to a different uh, monitor. This may be on monitor too if you're in a multi-monitor uh, uh, system. Go ahead, that's document one. Go to the next document and navigate to that. So Web Parts uh, gives us a nice flexibility utilizing the capabilities of the query engine itself. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another uh, presentation. If I go back to my uh, home point here, we also take advantage of lists. And lists uh, are nice for those people that uh, um, may not be fluent with an application extender, but I still want to open the content up to the SharePoint user. 
I go ahead and create these uh, queries again over in the uh, web access or document manager side of the house and then open these lists up or those queries up to the uh, SharePoint user. So I'm going to go ahead and hit HR info before 2003 and it simply brings back the result set of information to the uh, end user experience. And the nice thing about this is, is that these index values are part of Application Extender. Uh, they're in the database tables. The content is over in Application Extender. But I can take advantage of all the concepts that are part of SharePoint. So if I want to be able to create new views, if I want to be able to create new columns, etc., I can be able to do that as well as synchronize this content. If this was an active uh, 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 scan environment and I was bringing content in, I may uh, synchronize this throughout the day either manually or automatically so that I have a nice presentation of this information. So with that one, uh, you'll also notice that we can take advantage of the Workflow Manager, uh, which is a, a product addition to the Application Extender platform. So I can start a manual process on this document and be able to route that around to particular people, particular groups, uh, and interact with line of business uh, applications, be able to populate content or retrieve uh, index values from those line of business applications, utilizing the very, very powerful Workflow Manager engine. If I'm going to do a view, I can go ag ahead again and do document, which is, I would think, going to be the prevalent view for a list client. But you can also go ahead and open it in Application Extender and be able to view the content within there also and be able to take advantage of all the concepts that we've talked about with uh, Application Extender.